Welcome back, everybody. We're back here in Pennsylvania with the flintlock. <laughs> I'm set up right on the edge of the field. I'm actually about 15 yards from the spot I normally set up. I normally set up behind this patch of trees that I use as cover. But the last few times I've hunted, I've had deer coming right up over the ravine right next to me. So I've decided instead of having my back to the ravine, I'm gonna sit parallel to the field and I have good shooting at the corner right here where they come out. And I've got shooting to my left in case they come up over the ravine. I've actually got the best wind I've had the entire time I've hunted. Flintlock up here, it's right in my face. So even if they come out of the ravine, they can't scent check me. If they wanna scent check the field, they're gonna to have to come around the entire backside of the field, which they don't like to do. <clears throat> so, things are looking good. We're gonna get settled in here and see if we can't make something happen tonight. I'm hoping the shot is right here. Hopefully they come right out of that corner and I can lay one out. I got a good solid rest here. I can, I can pinch my hand right and my arm right against this tree. Be nice and solid. Just gotta have them come out. Man, it's been a pretty slow evening so far. <clears throat> Haven't seen or heard a deer the entire evening so far, so open this last half hour. We run into some deer.
So as everybody can see, we ended up striking out again last night during our flintlock hunt. I had uh, three bucks come out to the field. I had two bucks come out in the corner right where I was set up to shoot. And I had a uh, four point come out behind me. And what happened was that four point came walking up the edge of the field right behind me. And it got to about 25 yards from me and, and saw me and started carrying on. It was standing there and stopping. And it made those two bucks in the corner and there was a fawn out there with them. It made them get really nervous because they were looking at the buck that was getting nervous looking at me. And at that point, there was actually uh, like four deer that were coming up out of the woods, and there was a big doe. The lead, the lead deer was a big doe, and she was like four feet from the edge from the corner when this all happened. So she was just about to come out when all these deer started getting nervous, and of course, ended up, those deer started running back into the woods, and it took the doe that was about to come out right with them. So it's just, it was that close, you know, if they needed to come five more feet out into that corner and I would have got a shot at them, but it's just really tough. Uh, a lot of people said, well, why don't you set up a ground blind right there? The ground blinds that I have are brand new and they stink like crazy. There's no way with these big does, I would just blow all the deer right out of the woods with that ground blind. It smells like plastic. What I could do is get one of the panel blinds, I think, and just set it up either right on the edge and totally encase myself with it or set it up right in the field uh, I'm not sure I'll be back after them this evening and, and see what we can do but uh, either way it's been quite a quite a challenge trying to get a, a shot at one of these big mature does thanks for watching everybody I'll see you tonight